fin or foil, you never know what to take what to take. Foil or fin, that was the question today for the top riders before the race as the wind dropped a little bit again compared to previous days. I look at it this way, you know, like would I beat myself uh, with the fin on the foil or with the foil on the fin, you know, and I think today I would me with the fin would be faster than me with the foil. To watch foil is great. It's fantastic for the sport and I think it's a future. The foil has a lot of advantages. I'm foil team actually. For the largest part of the fleet, foil wasn't an option anyway. The wind remaining over the 20 knots average. It's, it's crazy. I fall by myself, uh, but to do it here in uh, conditions like that, it's uh, best crazy, yeah. But with a thousand windsurfers competing together and gusty wind, racing full speed all along the course wasn't that easy today. Smile, we are still screwed on most of the faces. Là, c'était épique, là, avec ce vent et tout, c'était vraiment magique. À refaire mille fois, euh, tant que je pourrais, je le referais. Et j'espère que lui aussi. Euh. Ouais. Yeah, sometimes a bit difficult, but uh, just incredible to sail with so many uh, sailors. And yeah, just amazing. This thing is, is all about, you know, the celebration of windsurfing. Oh.
winning both races today again, Nicolas Goya is now officially leading the pack in front of Anton Albo and Antoine Kettel. Yeah, well, I'm just behind, he's first and second. <laughs> I think you are. Good, good if you win, I think tomorrow is no win. So I think we can party tonight. <laughs> Your answer from Denmark is still the fastest Jungen. I haven't really had like a like a banger race where I just finished like top five or anything but so I've been pretty consistently throughout the whole event. I think it's really fun to see everybody out there and uh, yeah, really enjoying it. In the women division, Delphine Cousin is now in the lead, few points ahead of Justine Lemetayer and Marion Mortefon. The thing is, we, the points are counting with the men, so yeah, it can be very fast to put some points here. While the leaders finished each race in about 33 minutes, The last finisher of the fifth race took around four hours. J'ai fini, c'est le seul truc qu'il faut retenir. Voilà, c'est ça. 4h30, je sais pas s'il y a une manche qui a déjà été aussi longue. Of course, the safety crew waited for him to complete his race. And that's the defi win spirit. Big respect to, to everybody that even finished this race because it's... It's really, really hard on the body. En tout cas, merci pour l'organisation et la sécu parce que franchement, ils sont au top. En 20 ans, il n'y a jamais un windsurfer qui a été oublié. Donc rien que pour ça, respect maximum. Tomorrow, the forecast looks uncertain. There might be some Tramontana still, but it's supposed to drop in the morning. Let's see what it brings. Tonight, the Fuin Music Festival will be at full swing again, or even more, as this is the official Defiwin party tonight, celebrating its 20th anniversary. Mm -hmm.